So again, here I have my data and I want to copy it into Excel. So what I'm going to do is click on download and you can see that it loads up inside of Microbit. It's called Microbit 10 because I have downloaded a few of these already. I can show that in the file where it is. Here it is inside of my downloads and I can simply open that up. And here is my data. It's safe to the PC, which is great. I can put on auto save and all those sorts of things. What I do want to do is I want to clean this data up a little bit. So you can see that I've got time in seconds here. This one's starting at 11.31 seconds. And then it goes up slowly, 11.32, 33, 34. So because of the code that I have here, which is saying every 500 milliseconds log the data, means that every half second, basically, it's logging the data. So I should see the 31 change to a 32, 32 to a 33, and so on during this now. You can see that it's taking two different bits of data each half second. So it's taking sound first of all, and then on the next line, it's taking the X, Y, and Z. And I prefer for sound to be on the same line as the X, Y, and Z. So, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the 702 to move up to there, and the 1143 to move up to row 5, and so on. So I'm going to click in the row above 702, and I'm just going to say that I want to delete that. So I can go here to delete and say delete cells. And it asks me, do I want to shift cells left? Well, no, I don't. I want to shift all of these cells down here up. So I'm going to choose shift cells up. And now I've got nice data. I've got my sound and my X, Y, and Z at exactly the same row, which is sort of nice. What I want to do now is all of this data in between, where there isn't anything except for now a timestamp, I want to get rid of those rows as well. So, and if you take a look, I'm not sure how far down this goes, but we take a look, you can see that there are uh, 5,403 rows, which is a fair bit of data to be working through. So I don't want to be able to, I don't want to go in and, you know, press delete row uh, two and a half thousand times for there and for there and for there and so on. So there's got to be an easier way. And luckily there is. So what I'm going to do, I want to keep this row and then I want to keep this row and I want to keep this row and so on. So every second row I want to delete. Now how do I do that? Well in column G I can put a 1 and in column G row 2 I can put a 0. So now I've got a 1 and a 0. And I'm going to use a filter to uh, just show the 1s or just show the zeros or whatever it is. So I've got this. Now what I want to do is I want to copy that. So I can press on copy and it's copied. And now I'm going to click just below it. Now I don't want to have to drag all the way down. So I can press Control, Shift, and the down arrow, and it actually copies all the way down to the end of the whole spreadsheet, but that doesn't matter. And then I just want to press Paste. So now I've got 101010. Now it's great because it goes all the way down to, you know, row 4, 2000, or wherever I was, wherever I found it. But what it also does, it goes beyond that, and it goes down to, I think there was 5000, wasn't there? So let's make it G5000. And then we've got 5405. Now, I could go in and I can delete everything from here down if I really wanted to. How to do that? Again, I've highlighted that, uh, the one there. And I just go Control Shift and the down arrow. And it's taking me down to the very end and I can just press Delete. And it's got rid of all of the extras. So now I've got my zeros and ones all the way down that where I want them to go. And so now to get rid of every second row, I can just do a quick filter. So first of all, I want to click on row G. And I'm going to do a filter, and I'm going to, when I click here, I want to see, uh, and I want to select all, I just want to see the zeros, and say OK. So as you can see, the very first bit of data is still there, but the rest of them are all blank. So now that I've got every second row, I should be able to select all of these rows, just by uh, selecting the data here, and pressing my Control Shift and down again. It takes me down to the bottom, which is great, and I can go uh, Delete Sheet Rows. And now that those have been deleted, I should be able to go back into my filter and say show all the ones, okay, and here they all are. So now I have just the data that I want, so I can get rid of column G by just saying delete sheet column, that's good. And I can again copy all of this control shift and the down key. Notice now it only goes down to 2700, which is great, so I've halved the number of rows I've got to look at. And if I want to control copy and paste this into a new spreadsheet, control a new sheet, then there we go. Now I've got data for one row. If I knew the name of the row, I could, you know, put in here that this is for the um, hair razor or whatever. I've cleaned up my data. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to work with some of this data.